Hey there crew, I'm Panzer, former tank commander, and today we're playing Sprockets. Well, let's get into it. Alright, so this is sort of like a tank designer, so I guess we can kind of make whatever we want. Okay, I think this is starting to look pretty cursed. Oh god, I've just realized you can change the sprocket sizes too. <laughs> oh god, this is looking worse and worse every time I make some change to it. Okay, I think I've made this just about as cursed as I possibly can. Uh, this, I don't even know how this would function. I, I need to fix this suspension because that turret is not going to be able to move. Okay, so I think we got to paint this. But what are we going to do with color-wise? I feel like a bright gold tank. Yeah, no, that that's definitely what you want. Kind of reminds me of like tank mechanics in where it's just like, oh, it's all rusty and look, it comes back. Also, because this is a duck, I decided to give it a duck tail. I think that got it stuck, actually. <laughs> I haven't even left yet and it's stuck. <laughs> okay, hang on. Yeah, I decided to make the duck tail a little smaller. Let's see if that fixes it. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're clean out. Oh, we got allies. I didn't even know we would get allies. No way. I'm already stuck. Okay, so now we got this 24 liter V6. Hopefully this is powerful enough. Let's go. Okay, so we seem to be getting like quite a lot of wheel spin on the mud. I mean, not wheel spin. They're like track spin. So it's definitely pretty slow going. We're maxing out like 6Ks an hour. I mean, you gotta imagine this is like a what 13 or 14 ton tank and it's powered by the engine from a Toyota Corolla. So I genuinely think the issue is these skinny tracks. They just don't have the grip in the muddy terrain, so I'm going to try and beef those up. Yeah, I think that's sufficient. Alright, here we go. Uh, it definitely feels slower. It's also stuck in first gear. That's kind of a problem. It doesn't really want to change gears at all. But I mean, so far so good. We're still moving along. Yeah, no, I think these bigger tracks are definitely working for us. All right, let's see if we can cross this trench over here. We gonna do it? Oh, we are a little bit stuck. Um, this is definitely not, oh, okay, I died. So essentially what we've made here is, uh, well, a casemate tank destroyer. Now I will say making it longer should help us cross the trench, but it is making it harder to turn. All right, moment of truth. Are we gonna cross it? Oh, so easily done. No drama whatsoever. So I went and had another rethink and I decided to bring the Apocalypse tank out because why not? Uh, you know, if anything else, it may actually just be able to climb out of the trenches using its guns because they're about as long as the entire tank itself. It also has the same problem of uh, not being able to change gears. I, I don't know why it's doing that. But it's got about a thousand horsepower, so I think we've got plenty. Okay, so I came up with a kind of smaller tank design. Kind of. Uh, this is already off to a great start. Look how much faster this thing is. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they had something this fast in World War One, but you know what? It's good. But look, it's long enough to go over the, the trenches. It just floats right over them. Look at this. Oh. But it's a much lighter tank, it's like six tons instead of, I think the other one was, uh, oh. Oh, this one might be stuck now. Uh-oh. There's a trick to it, really. And I mean, this is actually accurate to real tanks. See, we learned trench crossing with the leopards, and I mean, that's a big tank. And you can kind of take it slow, you know, go over, but actually the, the advice that we're given is to always go fast. Because if you go fast enough, you know, you just float right over it. Oh, okay, there's there's the enemy. Uh, they're all shooting at me. They're all shooting at me. We've, we've been hit once. Um, and the crew's dead. So this didn't go very well. Okay, so this is the redesign. I've kind of bumped up the height a little bit and given it a little bit more clearance at the front. So it definitely hasn't lost any of its speed. I've also given it a little ducktail just because that might help us with the trench crossing. The turning ability is not great, but look, the AI just went right over the top of that. 
it just skipped right over it. So we should be able to as well. There you go. You know, basically, I've just realized what I've created. Like, so more or less, I've created a scimitar. Oh, that's the edge of the map. Okay, well, that's a problem for me. Uh, are you an enemy? You are, aren't you? I shot him. I didn't even see him. He was so well camouflaged. I mean, I'm well camouflaged too, but... Still. Oh, I think that's one right there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Okay, that's, uh... Yeah, that's a lot of enemies. Um, yeah, they got tanks and artillery. Oh, we've been hit. We got hit, we got hit. Okay, so the the AI is actually kind of <laughs> accurate. Oh, is this France that we're fighting? Because those look like... Um, what are they? Um, B1s? I think. Oh, we got another hit. Okay, we can't really get hit that many more times. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, we managed to rescue this one AI. How did you get stuck like that? Alright, let's try to avoid getting hit by artillery here. Is that an anti-tank gun? I think that is an anti-tank gun. There we go. Got him. Ah, no. Yeah, okay, we managed to get it. So I need to, I need to go over them uh, with a little bit of speed. There you go. You know, actually, I have created the perfect trench crossing shape. <laughs> I mean, for a light tank, yeah. I mean, front engine, front drive. Ooh, what's that? Something just shot at me. What was that? I'm getting shot at constantly. Reload. Okay, we're bouncing shots. We don't actually have the thickest arm. Oh, no! No! Don't fall in, don't fall in, don't fall in. Oh, this is actually a really tough part. There's just holes everywhere. What's shooting at me? I think it's... Is that a... Oh, what, what is that? Yeah, it's an anti-tank gun right there. I just can't get my gun down onto it. Oh, I got him! Sweet. Oh, I can't get my gun down. I can't get my gun down. Come on. Okay, that didn't go through. I hit him. I'm definitely hitting him. No idea if I'm doing any decent damage. Oh, God. Okay, our fuel tank and our... Everything's been hit. Oh, that's an enemy tank right there. Oh, no. Hang on. Is he still operating? Because I can't tell. No matter... We're going to take care of the artillery now. The tank is very bouncy. <laughs> oh no, I'm in the mud. Oh no, don't get stuck now. You're the only one that's made it this far. Don't get stuck. Okay, we escaped. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get stuck in the mud over there. Alright, time to take out this artillery. A gun basically has, like, no elevation or depression. So... That's never good. Alright, there's another gun. Just gotta cross the mud. Ooh! Oh, that's really bad. Oh, I'm really stuck now. Can I take out this, this one gun, though? Hell yeah. So, I'm not sure we can, like, tow allies out, because I have a lot of the AI just stuck all over the place. Which is surprising, considering how this this tank is actually quite easy to cross the trenches. But I think the AI try to cross it at, like, an angle. Or go too slowly. Ooh! No, 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 don't get stuck now. Oh, the entire crew is wounded. That was not good. I was just saying, like, you know, try to avoid falling into the holes. And that's literally the first thing I do when I get in a new tank. So it does seem like the enemy tanks are actually pretty strong. Oh, and these ones are still alive, too. Oh, no, 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 they're gonna shoot at me. I'm gonna take out the artillery first, though. Okay, I missed. Alright, let's get this one. Hit him. Hit him again. 
Oh, that was a hit. No, I'm here for the artillery. I will not play your games. Go, 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 go. Only got a couple more guns to kill, too. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.